Disney brings its time-tested youth sports drama formula to the small screen with the new Disney Plus series, The Crossover. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Dan here. This is Dan Reviews. Welcome to my TV review for the recent Disney Plus show, The Crossover. This is uh, streaming all episodes for season one right now, and it is based on a very popular book from Kwame Alexander. I was unfamiliar with this book, um, but looked into it a little bit when the show came out, and uh, this is a Newbery Award-winning book, very popular, uh, and it is told all in verse. Um, you know, sort of probably taking a little bit of a, a tip from Hamilton. You know, this the book was from about seven or eight years ago. So it was, you know, sort of a, a popular thing to do at the time. The show does not uh, necessarily follow that formula, uh, although one of the characters does kind of want to be uh, an aspiring rapper. But anyway, we'll get into all of this. Uh, in just a second here, let me first welcome you into Dan Reviews It. Thanks for finding this video. We've got a ton of great movie and TV reviews for you to check out, and I try to post something new just about every day. So uh, please consider subscribing. Even hit that notification bell below as well so you can get uh, the alerts for when I drop new videos. But uh, if not, just like this video, comment below. All that stuff does help the channel out as well. So let's get to the crossover. Disney Plus, you know, all, has always, well, forget Disney Plus. Disney, as a company, has always done, uh, you know, the sports drama thing. They've done a lot of adult sports dramas over the years. Um, you know, like, remember the Titans and whatever. But, um lately, they've focused a little bit on uh, their small screen stuff with, the uh, Disney Plus original films, we've had a few of those over the years about uh, kids and teens in sports, uh, including a recent one called uh, Chang Can Dunk, which I reviewed pretty favorably, um, but also some uh, TV series as well, including uh, The Mighty Ducks, which of course was based on a, a Disney, uh, you know, kids sports movie back in the 90s. Um, and then they also had Big Shots with uh, John Stamos playing the coach of this uh, girls basketball team. So now we've got the crossover and the, the basic premise here is this is about uh, these two brothers, uh, Josh and Jordan Bell. They are considered, uh, you know, basketball prodigies and uh, they are about to sort of enter the uh, the more adult years of their lives. They're sort of, uh, you know, getting a, a bit older and trying to navigate uh, a lot of difficult things, not the least of which is, uh, you know, their, their love of basketball and the game, um, but, you know, family stuff, school stuff, relationship stuff maybe as well. Um, so uh, I did not recognize um, the dude playing JB, who is uh, Amir O'Neill, but uh, Jalen Hall portrays Josh Bell, and he played uh, Emmett Till in the movie Till. And that movie really is, is focused more on the mother. So he actually wasn't in it too much. Um, but uh, that that's the only other place I really know him from. And then Derek Luke um, plays their father. And we know him as a sports star as a kid. He played Antoine Fisher um, in that movie. And I, I don't think that was Disney, um, but it might have been. I've never actually seen it. Uh, but more recently, he was on the Netflix series uh, 13 Reasons Why. So... Um, you know, we, we've, we've seen him now grow up a bit, um, and he's playing the dad here. Um, so this is also, uh, narrated by Davi Diggs, who, you know, speaking of Hamilton, um, you know, makes sense to be tapped for this. And he's been, um, you know, on Disney's radar a, a good bit lately. He had uh, a role in the Little Mermaid reboot they just did. And of course, Disney Plus, uh, you know, is the one that put on Hamilton, the, the, uh, you know, stage show of that over uh, the pandemic. So, um, anyway. This is a really, really good show, and I'll tell you why. Um, so, you know, maybe we're not breaking new ground with um, the, the subject matter here, uh, and even, you know, sort of the voiceover narration. It's a little bit Wonder Years-ish, maybe. But um, what is sort of novel about this show in today's, uh, you know, TV era is that uh, they they really do not make a lot of, you know, family-friendly drama shows anymore. You know, like the Mighty Ducks and Big Shots certainly are family friendly, um, but they're more, you know, comedic leaning. There's, uh, you know, a little bit of comedy here, but this is really, um, for all intents and purposes, a family drama. Um, and every so often there's like a, a family drama movie that comes out, but for TV, I can't think of too many um, that, that are currently on the air. You know, like most things on Nickelodeon or Disney Channel are very much geared more toward the comedic, and if they're not, they're more like you know, action related or something like, uh, you know, Avatar The Last Airbender, for example, 
um, obviously that's animated, but, um, this reminded me actually a lot of this show, uh, from when I was a kid called Life Goes On, um, and Patty Lupone played the mom, and it was about this boy with Down syndrome, and he was, you know, trying to figure out his life, but, um, it got me thinking there were actually quite a handful of shows, uh, of that ilk in that era. Now, Wonder Years is a little bit more probably of a, of a comedic lean than this one is as well. Same with Doogie Howser, um, but those were certainly family-friendly, uh, TV shows without, you know, laugh tracks or something that we were so used to in the 80s. Um, there was also another show that, um, Shannon Doherty was on when she was much younger. And I think maybe Wilfred Brimley was on it as well. That was called Our House. Um, and, and so there were a whole lot of these in the late 80s. You could even maybe put Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman in that. Um, you know, that's a little more milk toast perhaps. But, um, but, you know, the Disney formula really has been put to great use here. Um, because there are, stakes here with some family members uh, being ill and, um, you know, some, some people maybe getting injured, you know, with, with their, uh, love of this game of basketball that they want to try. And really, look, I'm not a basketball fan. I could, I could care either way about that. Um, I, I do like certain shows and movies with basketball themes. Like I did like that John Stamos show, Big Shots. Um, but, you know, basketball is sort of, uh, an ancillary part of this. This is more really about them maturing and, and growing as, uh, you know, teenagers and, and figuring out their lives. And, uh, truth be told, we really do not get shows like this anymore. Um, so it's very refreshing to see. I think it's pretty realistic, even if it is a little bit Disney-fied, you know, the, the, the kids aren't going to these, you know, crazy parties and drinking and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. So, okay, it's a little bit sanitized. I will admit that. Um, but I think the, the script is really good here and really, okay, because maybe it's not as realistic as it could be for, you know, teenage life or whatever, maybe the appropriate age era for this is, uh, you know, age area is maybe like, you know, eight through 13, like kind of, you know, the, the, the tween years. Um, because like I said, it, it is a little Disney-fied in that regard, but for a family drama show, um, I think this is a really, really strong one. Davi Diggs' narration is, you know, very good. Um, obviously he's got a great voice. It is, uh, you know, certainly a little reminiscent of the Wonder Years kind of stuff there. Um, but I actually wasn't sure if this was, um, uh, based on a true story or not. It is not. The, the book is nonfiction. Um, and, you know, the book, like I said, is in verse, and they sort of pay tribute to that a little bit um, with the one brother wanting to, you know, kind of be a rapper. So he does some rhymes, uh, you know, a little bit throughout, but it's not, you know, all like that, like the book was apparently. Uh, but no, this is a really good show. You can stream uh, the whole thing now on Disney+. Plus. I leave the crossover with a an A-. minus, And uh, no word yet on season two, so we'll let you know about that. Uh, all right, thanks for watching. Dan Reviews It. We'll see you next time. Bye.